What's going on YouTube? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Alright, I had to start the video over because the last one I uh, dumped the phone in the floorboard. Good, good videoing there, buddy. Alright, um, thought I'd get back to doing some vlogs here and there. Yes, I just wiped my nose a little bit. But, um, started off with just left the gun range I took the CAA Ronnie up there with for my Glock 19 ran it they looked at it they googled over it um, it's a neat little niche I'll give it that I can't do too bad shooting with it that's the other scary part I didn't really seems like anytime I get a new gun I do really good shooting with it the first time I go back in a week and won't be able to hit the broadside of a barn with it. I don't know. I still shoot my MP shield really good. Factor trigger and all. Um, so anyway, um, what else was going to talk about? Oh, I was at the gun range. I've been looking for a decent holster for my 1911 so I can carry a little more. I picked this up. It's called, blade, it's a blade tech concealment, inside and outside waistband, either way you configure it, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, it's $54, that may be a little high, I don't know, you know, it's supporting my local range. You know, we all say you need to support your local range. Um, my next thing I wanted to tackle on this vlog today is um, the monetization thing. Now, I mentioned a little bit about uh, video back when I was showing you the CAA, Ronnie, um, that it doesn't affect me like it has some of the others. I, I don't make enough off of YouTube. I make enough off of YouTube. Okay, I'll put you like this. I do make enough off of YouTube that I could go out and probably buy 100 rounds 9 millimeter or 150 rounds. Depends on, oh no, depends on how I spin it. Probably a little more now. So anyway, not much. Most of everything that goes on my channel comes out of my pocket. I can't, you know, I don't have any sponsorships whatsoever. Hey, the Trump bus is here. Um, I'm sorry, squirrel. Anyway, um, so yeah, everybody comes out of my pocket. It's all for fun. I don't do this for a job or for a living. I know there's some channels that did or were and are. And man, it's like your boss coming in and saying, hey, we're going to cut you paying by three quarters. You'd have to do one of two things. Find another way to make money with your channel or you'd have to quit. There's going to be a lot of guys quitting. And that sucks. That really sucks. There's a lot of people that are, you know, there's a lot of people out there, though, that don't really rely on the monetization. It's cool to have it. Like I said, once a year you get a little money and go, hey, I'm going to go buy some ammo. And a couple weeks later you've shot it all up. So, anyway, um, there's that. Got that out of the way. So go support, go support the, the channels that you want to support. I've got Patreon. I don't advertise it. If you look down there and see that button and want to advertise or want to, um, you know, send me a little donation, cool. I'll mention you did it. If you tell me you don't want me to mention you did it, same there. Um, let's see, what else? North Korea. Well, at least the big boy didn't blow out his big candle yet. Um, Dude, dude is um, missing a couple of screws. He uh, really wants a fight. He really does. Uh, and I think Trump does too. Almost think he does. And the reason why I'm saying this, guys, I'm just listening to my reasoning. I think Trump wants a fight to prove that he's the better president. That he carried us to a major fight 
and come out of it. The scary part is, is he's picking on a guy that has nuclear. That's not good for anybody. Even if we were to use the mother of all bombs, or the Moab, steel guys, this dude's got nuclear, and he's with he's definitely in striking range of Japan and could really mess their world up. And would love to. The only thing we've got maybe going in the back door right now is China all of a sudden pops up and says, Hey North Korea, we don't want your coal. Hmm. Must have been a pretty good meeting between uh, Trump and uh, the Chinese guy. Yeah, no, I call him the Chinese guy. <laughs> so what? Um, must have been a good meeting because all of a sudden he wants our coal. Great. Cool. Now, China is big enough to go up to, Japan, to North Korea and go cool it or will cool you will it happen don't know I'm not a politician I'm not into politics I don't read between the lines much I try to stay as far away from politics as I can but that's the only thing that bothers me is I think Trump wants to be able to say I got the big cojones I don't I'm not scared of him the only downside to that is on the back side of it is you're putting our guys cojones in front of yours so anyway and the other downside to that too is our military is at its lowest point right now as far as um, its abilities and uh, you know you know we, we haven't spent much on the military in the last eight years uh, matter of fact we've kind of nickel and dimed it to death so that, that's the other thing that would kind of worry me a little bit. So I don't know if our military is quite up to snuff. Do I think our military couldn't fight Korea, you know, on the ground? No, I think our military could go up to North Korea and say, hey, you remember when it was here back in the 50s? It's a whole lot different. And But, you know, at the same time, we don't know what North Korea has really got and what they're up to. And they may be still doing the same thing they did back in the 50s. Which would be a good thing because we would put their ass anyway. Um, so, with that said, um, I'm going to leave the politics gone there. It's, it's here for politics. Uh, a good buddy of mine just retired from the military. Friday was his last day after 20 some odd years, almost 21 years of service. He's a bomb technician. <laughs> if you knew the guy, you'd go, oh, okay, makes sense. It did to me when I found out what he was doing in the military. Um, anyway, I got some other things coming. I'm going to try out this Blade Tech um, holster for the 1911. See how it carries. See how it feels. You know, see if it's a good or, uh, good or bad or indifferent. Still using the We the People holster from my Glock. Or, whoa. From my Smith MP shield. No problems whatsoever so far. We'll give a uh, update review on it coming up. I won't wait six months before I do anything on it. And it hasn't been quite six months yet. So, anyway, that's it. Been to the range. A little CA Roni. That was fun. Still want to find some different sites. I found some sites that are kind of a flip up uh, AR style site. They're not small enough that. I, not, not as small as what I want. So I'll leave it at that. All right, guys. Y'all have a good Saturday. Have a good Easter. Uh, remember, it's not the Easter bunny that was on the cross. It was Jesus. Make sure you tell your kids that. And for me and y'all, happy Easter. And we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.